you weren't expecting to see me, right? Sorry for being away so long, but I promise this video is worthy, totally worthy. Enjoy it! I'm really sorry to be uh, back so abruptly, but I had to be uh, away for some time because I had a lot of uh, essays and work for the uni and also I had a little bit of trouble with uh, this platform so I needed, I first I needed to fix things with YouTube which are perfectly sorted right now and then I start producing content that I didn't have time to produce so what I'm going to talk about today today I'm going to talk about the books and bookish items that I received during Christmas and during the Three Wise Men uh, celebration you see in Spain and in other parts of the, I think it's Hispano American tradition mostly um, we have this big celebration in the, well, the night of the 5th of January to the 6th uh, of January and the complete 6th of January as well the children and adults have this celebration in which the three boys men arrive on the 5th of January at night and leave presents for every member of the family. So apart from having parades and stuff like that, it's like, like our biggest uh, like celebration. It's like Christmas, but in the end of uh, the Christmas season. So today I decided to separate this video in two parts. First, I will talk about the Christmas presents I received that are not actually bookish, are more like a TV shows themes, but I will show you later on. And then going further with the bookish stuff that I received during uh, the Three Wise Men day. So you know that actually I cannot watch Doctor Who here. And that's something that is driving me insane because we don't have it here in Spain but Santa knew that and brought me this beauty over here that if you press here it bleeps bleeps or yeah it makes sounds um, it was actually um, part of the merchandising of the show and it belongs to the 10th doctor I have my screwdriver but also because I think Santa knows that I'm going to be in love with the show for a really long time. I have this one, which is belong well, which is another screwdriver for the show that belongs to the eleven Doctor portrayed by Matt Smith. Again, I haven't arrived to the eleven Doctor yet, but I'm really happy to have his screwdriver. So this was the screwdriver that David Tennant and Christopher Eccleston used during the show and this is the one that belongs to the character of uh, Matt Smith and I think Peter Capaldi, the current doctor, also used, used it for a while but I'm not sure, again, I don't... I am not... Uh, I have to catch up with the show so yes, I have these beauties over here and I am really in love with them I'm playing around around the house with them all the time and this beauty that you're watching here is the TARDIS, which is the um, police box that the doctor uses that is actually, um, how it's called, a space a spaceship. His spaceship has the uh, external shape of a police box, a blue police box. And if you open the doors, I'm not sure if you can watch it, you see the inside of the TARDIS. And also, hold on, I'm going to try to activate it. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy with my presence. So, dear doctor, my name is Clara, I live in Spain, and if by any chance you need your TARDIS or your equipment, aka a screwdrivers just pay me a visit and i will be delighted to accompany you with your stuff oh gosh how i love this 
<laughs> I adore it. It's just, it's just, oh, yeah. It was quite a surprise. I wasn't expecting receiving any merchandising from the show. So the first two items I'm going to show you are actually handmade and they are notebooks. I adore notebooks or any kind of paperwork that I can write on and as I'm doing a creative writing master I really need material to write my um, assignments or ideas or novels on so the first one is actually made of uh, made of leather leather made of leather sorry um is this beauty journal beautiful journal over here so you open it and it looks like this and then if you need to close it up or to close it just place this here and try to tie the ribbon around it like this and then you can place this over here so it closes I have this other notebook which is also handmade but in this case it's kind of hard hardcover notebook it has a Shakespeare quote which is in Spanish but it's a Shakespeare quote I will try to do like literary translation I haven't found the quote itself on the internet so I can actually read it to you as he said it as he said it but if you find it or if you know the real uh, quote please write it down on the comments because I want to know like how it is in the original language I will do my translation so here we go fate is like a deck of cards but we are the ones that play all along Shakespeare and I love it because it has a really smoothie well I don't know if you are able to see it there's a ship and there's the quote yeah and you see it has like this a strange pattern like in the hardcover but it's actually quite smooth and I adore it and this is from a um, as far as I know this is from a, like a market which is always placed in the center of Madrid so as well if you are able to see it because my head is actually in the middle over there and hold on <laughs> I'm going to try to move backwards so you see, you see it better there and there you have tiny drawings of books in one place which is no books over there yeah the book open over there and a staircase hold on there there's a staircase over there. I always get confused with the camera stuff. So, yeah. And then go into the books. The first one, and I'm going to show you a Spanish copy of it, is, um, I think it's called Love Letters to the Bed in, in uh, the original language. It's by Eva de Laira. And it's about a girl who um, has to do, like, a, I think it's like a... An assignment for class that is pick up a celebrity, a dead celebrity, and write him or her. And she picks uh, Kurt Cobain, which was the um, one of the favorite um, artists of her, her her sister. I don't know anything else. I just know that a lot of people over the YouTube sphere, like booktube community, adore it last year. But we didn't have it here in Spain yet, so I have to wait until it was published in Spain to have it. This is the next beauty I want to show you. It's Sueños de Piedra by Iria G. Parente and Selene M. Pascual. They're these authors, these are Spanish authors. I think this book is not translated into English, but if you have other information or more information than I do, please let me know down below, as always. And I was expecting for this book for a really long time. I knew about this book back in October 
when I uh, met one of my um, friends from this new class that I'm taking, this new master. This book is about three characters. One is a very selfish prince. The other one is a prostitute that is running away from the man she killed. I'm not sure how. That's what it says. And the other one is a, a wizard that actually doesn't have any luck doing the tricks or with a wand or... And I don't know how their future are like intertwined and I I just love it. It's, there's something intriguing inside this book and I just, I cannot wait to, to read it actually. So this is Sueños de Piedra. I don't know if you are able to, to read in Spanish but according to all the reviews I read and all the people that I actually know that have read have read this book, you should read. I will tell you my thoughts on it when I finish it. I will tell you my thoughts on it when I finish it. By the way, I have uh, some reviews coming, but this will be for another video. So there. The next one I'm going to talk about is this one. This is Todas las Hadas del Reino, like All the Fairies of the Kingdom by Laura Gallego Garcia. Well, here is Laura Gallego, but her complete uh, name is Laura Gallego Garcia. And I know that this author doesn't publish in English, so again, if you are well re reading in Spanish, I highly recommend to you to pick this up or pick any book of hers up, because she is my favorite fantasy author, Spanish fantasy author. In this case, she takes the fairy tale land and talks about the fairy godmothers and we have a fairy godmother that has the mission of helping a stable boy to win her, the heart of a princess i believe but with him everything is like complicated and any of the tricks of the um of the fairy godmother actually work and apparently it makes different elements from different like fairy tale stories and it puts them everything inside here and i love fairy tales and retellings and stuff so i think this could be a not a really telling but a really interesting book that actually makes both mix both things the last book i want to show to you this is one that you probably can find in english which is el canto del cuco by robert galbraith or the cuckoo or the cuckoo's calling by robert galbraith of course that i think you all know that it's actually jk rowling writing here so these are all the presents that I had this Christmas and the three wise men days. So yeah, in Christmas basically. I hope you uh, have enjoyed this video. Again, I apologize for being away so long. So yeah, see you soon. And please subscribe as always, like if you like the video, comment me, tell me which books have you read. Have you read any of the books I sold to you? What do you think of the rest of the present? Are you fans of Doctor Who? Um, do you like the notebooks? Uh, I don't know. Which books would you like to see translated? Or what do you think of the Google Calling? Just write me down, please. Bye!